afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Ben Willis. Today, we bring you a story of a practice with deep roots in history. 4-H working steer shows are a reminder of the enduring value of the partnership between human and animal that is an essential cornerstone of agriculture. Today, working steer competitions are a testament to 4-H's values of youth empowerment, rural heritage, and hands-on learning. Recently, I had an opportunity to meet a 4-H'er from central Vermont and got to witness the extraordinary commitment necessary to train a steer team. At the 4-H Working Steer Show, young competitors demonstrate a range of skills they have trained their team on. Organizer Wendy Sorrell tells us about the commitment this 4-H activity requires. This working steer is probably one of the more um, intricate classes. It takes a lot when you're having two bovine brains and a youth brain, and they're supposed to be working together. It's a lot of training. So the youth are starting at three months with these calves that are three months old, and they're working with them hopefully for a few years. So it's a very lengthy project. It is a big commitment. I mean, when I got them, I had to bottle feed them and stuff. Basically, 550 I was up. Giving, getting the bottles ready and then you had to go down. Then you get down there and you, know, you fall in love because they just wait in there for their breakfast. The competition begins with a test of knowledge where the judges ask each competitor a series of questions about their team. So what kind of questions was the judge asking you before? Um, what parts, because uh, there are, there's one stomach with four compartments and he asked me what the four compartments are called and he asked me what size my yoke was and what the yoke was made of and where the chine was, which is a part of their back. There are three parts of their back, the chine, loin, and rump. After being walked through the course, it's time for the competition to really begin. The first challenge is to navigate a series of obstacles. G over. The competition is a culmination of hard work and dedication, which starts at home. You've got to get these animals out every day, even if it's for only 10 minutes a day. They learn with the repetition. You're spending time with them, so they're getting to know you. You're getting to know them. Each one will have a simple, shortened name, easy to call out, easy to use. We joined one of the competitors, Lily LaRock, one morning as she took her steers out to practice. So this is Fall. He's a year and seven months. I've had him for a while. I got him when he was four days old. So this is Leaf. He also has a personality. Very, you're a little bit harder. Good boys, back. Leaf, put him. Thank you. Stay. Come on, Fall. Lily was 10 yep. when she started working with this team yep. and quickly learned Fall. it came with yep. a lot of responsibilities. Basically, Bottle feeding was one of them. Um, that was a big responsibility. Um, the first few days I was all into it and everything. I was having a great time. And then I realized that I had to do that for eight weeks. So two months of that was getting up at, cause dad was like, I'll do your chores for you. He said, but you've got to finish the milking job for them. It's a lot of responsibility. So I was basically out with these guys mostly every day, walking them, talking to them. And they were also knee height, so they were really little, so you couldn't really go on really long walks like I do now, go for mile walks and stuff. Easy leaf, good boy, come on. But uh, it'd just be like going out, just getting them used to the halter, because I mean, like they were just from the barn, so they never had a halter on them or anything. This is Lily's second team, 
and the extra effort of bottle feeding was something new this time around. When I bottle fed them, I noticed that they got used to you more and were more attached to you. Like they actually listened. Like they, my other team listened, but these guys, I just had a closer bond to. Now the team is a bit older and Lily regularly works with Leaf and Fall so that they are ready for competitions. Yes, I hear you. What's this tire is just my exercise tire because with my next team I'm going to work on weight because they don't like to fall weight. Yep. G. G fall. Yep. Easy leaf. Yep. Fall. Yep. Easy leaf. Yep. Fall. Yep. So where does some of the, the words I hear you yelling, like G is so interesting, like what? So G, leaf. You don't need sticks there, dude. Okay, um, so G, if I want them to turn right, I can say G, because they don't know their left and rights. G, G, leaf, G. So when G, it just means turn right. And when I say back, I mean, they obviously back up. Sometimes, they're on their good days. Um, when I say ha, Easy. that means I want them to turn left. So I want them to come to me. And so the thing is with ha though, um, you, head up, leaf, thank you. Um, you need to give them space to come to you. Otherwise they're gonna be like, you want me to come to you, but you're right there. So you just get need to give them get space. Get um, get and the thing Please. is, when you teach them ha and G, I normally have, like when he was really little, I had a halter. And when I'd say ha, I'd stand back here and pull on the rope and tap him like this to help him come to ha. Leaf, head up. Head up is basically what it looks like. You just say head up and sometimes they need a tap, but mostly the they just do it. Leaf. Leaf likes to eat leaves, so that's another thing. Good ball. Good boys. Leaf. Good boys. Ball leaf, get up. Ball leaf, get up. Observing Lily take her team through their paces in advance of the next competition is a testament to the hard work and dedication required when training working steers. All the work comes to a head when Lily takes her team to a 4-H steer show. Okay, so on the way here, I was definitely nervous. Fall, back up, fall, back, fall, back. Um, I was definitely nervous, my heart was going. Don't be afraid to ask questions if you want to run through the course. But then once you get into it, like, it all kind of slips out and you feel totally comfortable and everything. Leaf, come here. Step up. Leaf, step up. Step up. But uh, yeah, definitely, I mean, when the judge calls on you and stuff, or when it's your turn, you kind of get that all nervous. But then once you start doing it, you feel like you're at home when you practice. So then it like totally, like you just do it. The goal of all this is more than just teaching youth to train a team of working steers. So we're hoping that the youth will learn empathy, decision making, you know, um, these are life skills, you know, the, the record keeping, whether they have working steer or not. In their future, we don't know, but the skills that they learn out of working with these animals is what's really important. Oh boys. Whoa. Stay. Oh boys. From bottle yep. feeding Easy. and training to winning ribbons in competition, Good it's boy. clear that Come Lily on. has built a strong bond Thank with you. Fall and Leaf. Yep. But all things come to an end, and Lily's team is growing up fast. So basically, this is my first 4-H team, and um, 
to for me to get better, I just get another team, which these guys are getting big too. Um, they're not exactly, which I have my next team, I'm gonna work on things more like pulling. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna work on more with them, or with my next team, but. Uh, what happens to these two? Um, I'm hoping to sell them, cause dad said they'll be like a good logging team or like a good ton team if they get pulling. But uh, they're, they're still good for things too. Um, but then if not, be fun. It'll be hard, but. Also then I get little babies that are knee high. And then, like I'll always have these guys in my memory. But. And then get a new little team and start all over again. Good boys. Boy, yep. Leaf, wait a minute. You're all right. Lily has one piece of advice for anyone looking to train working steer. If you get a team, get them young. Get them young. Because then you have that whole relationship with them. Training working steer is no easy task. And perhaps, as bovine and human train together, it's not just the steer that grow up fast. In Randolph Center, I'm Ben Willis with Across the Fence. 4-H competitions are winding down, but there are still some going on at fairs. Check the 4-H calendar at uvm.edu slash extension slash youth to see when you can catch these young people in the show ring. A thank you to Lily and her parents for allowing me to come and film Lily working with Fallen Leaf. And thank you for joining us across the fence. I'm Ben Willis. Have a great afternoon.